Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad you're here today. Welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room, the Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I'm hoping the caregivers will uh, stick by, give us support, and, and sing along with us and help the children the movements and, and um, uh, uh, exercises with us, most important for their language and literacy development. So here we go. You ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Absolutely. <coughs> <clears throat> I think I think I'm getting kind of silly. Let's shake those sillies out, shall we? Come on, everybody. Go out and shake, shake, shake those sillies out. Shake, shake, shake those sillies out. Shake, shake, shake those sillies out. And wiggle those waggles away. We got to clap, clap, clap our sillies out. Clap, clap, clap our sillies out. Clap, clap, clap our sillies out. And wiggle our waggles away. We got to laugh, laugh, laugh our sillies out. <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh our sillies out. Laugh, laugh, laugh our sillies out. And wiggle our waggles away. We're going to cry, cry, cry our sillies out. Cry, cry, cry our sillies out. Cry, cry, cry our sillies out. And wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna stamp, stamp, stamp our sillies out. Stamp, stamp, stamp our sillies out. Stamp, stamp, stamp our sillies out. And wiggle our waggles a day away. We're gonna slap, slap, slap our sillies out. Slap, slap, slap our sillies out. Slap, slap, slap our sillies out. And wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna shake, shake. Shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, and we go our way the way. Hey, good job. Well, spring is in a couple of days, and I bet you already have been seeing a little bug here and there, huh? But pretty soon, what's going to happen? Things are going to bloom, and the bees are going to be coming back around, right? Collecting all the pollen. Right, and they live in a hive. They live in a beehive, right? Can you make a little beehive with your fist like that? Sure you can. Tuck your fingers all in there where we can't see them. Here's the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of a hive. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> oh, here we go again. Let's get this in on right. There we go. Here, <clears throat> here's the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four. Five. Well, I'll tell you what, <clears throat> Wizzy Wizard, do you have a tip for us today? Well, let's see what my tip is today, Granny Jean. Let's see what we have here. Ah, I know. As we do motions for songs and finger plays, the child is gaining a sense of themselves in space and it will help them as they are learning to write. This is called proprioception, most important. So that's why we do finger plays and rhymes. Helps them with their writing. Proprioception, awareness of themselves in space. <clears throat> well, hi, I think I hear someone crying. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, she's really upset. What's the matter, little girl? Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. What should we tell her? Oh, leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. <clears throat> Can you say that with me? Come on. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. 
leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. Yeah, little Bo Peep. That's what will happen. Well, I'll tell you what, we're in a month called March. <clears throat> and the beginning of the month, it's winter time. But at the end of the month, it's spring when things start to grow. And I'll tell you what, I have a poem that's in a book and it's called in like a lion, out like a lamb. So the winter is like a lion roaring and snarling, right? I think this off is kind of a nuisance. And this book is by Marion Dane Bauer. <clears throat> oh, look at that. That looks like, like the wet snow that that poor toey is stuck in there on the branch. That's what that little bird is called, a toey. <clears throat> March comes in with a roar. He rattles our windows and scratches our door. Arr, look at that. He turns snow to mud, then tromps across your floor. Oh, oh, oh. oh, somebody forgot to take their boots off. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I forgot to put my hand cream on. That's my problem. Uh. <clears throat> oh, were you expecting spring, he snickers? <laughs> Reach for your slickers. <laughs> I'm still around, he says. March comes with a pounce and a growl. Just step outside and hear him howl, howl. If you howl back, will he go away? Not very likely. This lion means to stay and stay and stay. Look at that little boy howling, but it doesn't seem to matter. March is still very much winter. <clears throat> Then, one soft morning, wind gives way to breeze. Birds pop out on trees. The air is full of chickadees and bumblebees. Look at that. Not too far from now, you'll be seeing the forsythia bloom, the yellow flowers and the daffodils. And the lion takes a whiff and sniff and lets out an enormous sneeze. Ah, chew, huh? And guess who comes riding in, gliding in, striding in on that ah, chew? What is that? A little lamb, right? Yeah. <clears throat> So where will the March lion go? Will he wander to and fro, defeated and lost, predicting frost? No, oh, I hope not. <laughs> or will he go through the greening grass, eyes scheming, teeth gleaming, watching for the lamb to pass? Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to get him. Does he do that? Huh. No, never. Look at him stretching there. What's that boy doing? He's flying a kite. Mm -hmm. Great weather for kites. The fellow is much too clever. He finds himself a sunny spot. He stretches, yawns, and curls into a knot. Oh. Oh, he says. And that rumbling noise you hear? 
never fear. This lion is done with roaring and now he's snoring at least until next year. <laughs> Today, the lamb's in charge of grass and flowers, sunshine and showers, a baby, small and large. Oh, all those animals have babies. We do too, right? Yeah. Come all you babies, just hear March sing. Bah! She says, bah, bah, bah again. It's spring. Ah, choo. Look at that. The lamb sneezes, along with a lot of us. It sneezes in the springtime. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I know something that's a sign of the first signs of spring, and that's a pussy willow, right? What we sing last year, last week. I know a little pussy, her coat is silver gray. She lives down in the meadow, not very far away. Although she is a pussy, she'll never be a cat because she's a pussy willow. Now, what do you think of her? Here's a pussy willow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, scat, right? Right, those little, the little buds on it, the little buds that just popped out. There, and they just get bigger and bigger and bigger until they drop off and the roots are there. And they're called pussy willows and it's a bush or a tree. Yeah, it can be, be either one. So here we are. I know a little pussy, her coat is silver gray. She lives down in the meadow, not very far away. Although she is a pussy, She'll never be a cat, cause she's a pussy willow. Now, what do you think of her? Meow, 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 meow. Well, how do things grow? First, you have to have a little seed or a bulb, right? A little seed. Then that seed is all kinds of magic, and it knows just what it's going to do, right? All different seeds have different plans. So here we go. Get your, get your garden out. <clears throat> First, the stee seed goes in the ground. Then the soil gets patted down. We water it and watch it grow. Oh, it seems to grow so slow. But if we give it time and room, pretty soon we'll see a bloom, right? Flowers in our garden, but our vegetables too have flowers, right? <clears throat> well, what do we have here? We have a farm, don't we? I see a farm. And where's that beehive? Let's put the beehive in the farm. <clears throat> what else will be on my farm? I think I'm gonna put a, a cow. How about that? We'll put the cow over here by the barn. And how about a goose? All these, all these creatures are going to be in my book. Some are birds, one, two are birds, two are animals, and one's an insect, right? Okay, let's see what we've got here. Moo moo brown cow. <clears throat> I'm gonna put just a little bit of hand cream on because it helps me turn the pages. <clears throat> And this book is by Phyllis Gershator, Moo Moo Brown Cow. And that little boy who lives on a farm or else he's come to visit, I'm not sure. And those are his friends. <clears throat> Moo Moo Brown Cow, have you any milk? That's the name of the book. Okay, here we go. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Why, yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full. Does wool make a blanket for my bed? Why, yes, sir, yes, sir, the Black Sheep said. And what is he doing? He's knitting his wool into a blanket. Right. 
Hong Kong Grey Goose. Have you any down? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Half a pound. I saw feathers. Does down make a pillow for my head? Why, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Grey Goose said. Cluck, cluck, red hen. Have you any eggs for me? Why, yes, sir. Yes, sir. One, two, three. Hmm. Do eggs and flour make a loaf of bread? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, the red hen said. Buzz, buzz, yellow bee. Have you any honey? Why, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sweet and sunny. There's his beehive that someone made for him. He didn't make his own. <clears throat> Does sun sweet honey make a tasty spread? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The yellow bee said. And he puts it on his bread, doesn't he? Nice and sweet. Moo moo brown cow. Have you any milk? Why, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Smooth as silk. So who gives us milk? The cow. Does milk make me sleepy before I go to bed? Why, yes, sir. Yes, sir, the brown cow said. We're off to bed too, the animals said. In the hive. <clears throat> in the barn. See, the cow goes in the barn, the bee goes in the hive. The birds go in the coop, in the coop. And where does the lamb go in the shed? Yeah. Then we'll dream the whole night through of flowers to sip, green grass to chew. A golden grain of wheat or two. The moon so high and sky so blue. Sleep tight, farm friends. May I dream with you? And look, all those animals were really his what? His toys. See the beehive up here, a mobile? And the cow. And goose and duck. That's the goose over there. There's the goose. And the hen. <clears throat> No duck. <coughs> well, that certainly is a farm, right? <coughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some bees, E-I-E-I-O. With a buzz buzz here and a buzz buzz there. Here buzz, there a buzz, everywhere a buzz buzz. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a and e i e i o with a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there here a cluck there a cluck everywhere a cluck cluck old mcdonald had a farm e i e i o and on that farm he had a sheep e i e i o with a ba ba here and a ba ba there here a ba there a ba everywhere a ba ba old mcdonald had a farm e i e i o and on that farm, he had a, what? Goose, E-I-E-I-O, with a honk, honk here and a honk, honk there. Here a honk, there a honk, everywhere a honk, honk. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo, moo here and a moo, moo there. Here a moo, there a moo. There a moo. Everywhere a moo moo, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well, very good. <coughs> well, guess what? My name is Hector, Hector, and I went to police school. Look at that, they gave me a badge. I learned how to help people and keep them safe. Yeah, and I'm gonna go for my first job. Yes, I am. Hector Protector, dressed all in green. Hector Protector was sent to the queen. The queen did not like him. 
nor did the king. So Hector Protector was sent back again. They probably thought he was too young, don't you think? He was fine. They just didn't, didn't know any better. Hector Protector dressed all in green. Hector Protector was sent to the queen. The queen did not like him, nor did the king. So Hector Protector was sent back again. That's okay. He got another job. Much better. Much better job. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we have a going to bed book. You like to go to bed? What do you do before you go to bed? Hmm? Let's see what these little animals do. These little animals here. Looks like they live on a boat. The going to bed book by Sandra Boynton. Well, let's see. What animals do I see? Looks like I see a rhinoceros and a rabbit, I don't know what, <clears throat> kind of hard to tell. I see an elephant. The sun has set not long ago. Oh, maybe it's the ark. I think it's Noah's ark. What do you think? I see a lion up there too. <clears throat> the sun has set not long ago. Now everybody goes below to take one big tub with soap all over. Scrub, scrub, scrub. <clears throat> they hang their towels on the wall and find pajamas, big and small. Now look at that. Do you hang your towel up? I hope so, so no one trips. And they find their pajamas, big and small. With some on top and some beneath, they brush and brush and brush their teeth. And when the moon is on the rise, they all go up to exercise. Look at that, they're up on top of the deck there in the moonlight doing their exercises. What are they doing? Let's see, someone's jumping rope, someone's lifting weights, someone's skipping rope, I think. Someone's just running. Someone's goofing off. Probably Granny Jean. And down once more, but not so fast. They're on their way to bed at last. The day is done, they say good night, and somebody turns off the light. The moon is high, the sea is deep. They rock and rock and rock to sleep. <laughs> That's kind of a cute book. <clears throat> the Going to Bed book by Sandra Boynton. <clears throat> well, let's see what we do. <clears throat> when we're getting ready for bed, sometimes <clears throat> it's fun to play little games to make the, the operation go smoother. Mm -hmm. Here's one, Mommy. My mommy used to do with me, with my toes. This little piggy went to market and this little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef, but this little piggy had none. But this little piggy said, wee, 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 all the way home. A good tickly game for very young children. Here we go. And <clears throat> this little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef, but this little piggy, and um, this little piggy said, wee, 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 all the way home. How silly. Well, here's something that didn't work out quite the way I planned today because my bubble machine broke and I had to get a new one. So I'll hopefully have one for next week. But pretend that you're popping bubbles and this is a good jumping game and clapping. Can you do that? Let's see if I can make some bubbles for you. Jump, jump, jump so high, jump until they pop. Jump so high until they pop. There they are. Did you see them? I don't know. I don't know whether you saw them or not. Let's see. Oh. Well, I don't know. <clears throat> what we can do is 
There, one little, two little, three little bubbles, four little, five little, six little bubbles, seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles, 10 little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. Wanna do some jumping, come on. One little, two little, three little bubbles, four little, five little, six little bubbles, seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles, 10 little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. Well, I think that's all for us today. <clears throat> So goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye to Granny Jean, and bye-bye to Hector, too. And bye-bye to the poor old queen who doesn't know what's good for her. And bye-bye to the king, too. And bye-bye to the pussy willow. And bye-bye, the little pit. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, friends. See you next week. <clears throat>